Hello you all! Welcome back to another one of our weekend vlogs. It is 11.20. We are back home from doing all our grocery shopping. Yep. Steve's gonna do the bills. I'm gonna do the grocery haul. And this will probably be the smallest grocery haul we've had in a while. There wasn't a lot that we needed. We still have a lot in the fridge, freezer, and pantry yeah. that we didn't use. Um, so yeah, this is a small one. Plus, you are going into the office next week to work, so no yeah. lunches for you are needed. Nope. So yeah, but it's still stuff that we need for the week. Sure. Um, yeah. All right. So let's get this vlog started. All right. Let's start off over here on the island. We went to the liquor store and the only thing that we needed was Steve's cinnamon whiskey. We still have plenty of tequila and vodka in the pantry. Then we went to Kroger. We got a half gallon of the 2% milk. We also restocked on our regular margarita mix. Our ice cream for the week is the Ben and Jerry's topped tiramisu. We've had this before, yummo. Then we had a coupon that expired today for the Zyrtec, $4 off, so we used that. And then in the upcoming week, I am going to be cooking brisket in the crock pot. This will make for two meals. Um, we'll have leftovers for sure because this is a big brisket. Then at Winco, um, we got two potatoes. This is going to be diced up and cooked up in the oven tomorrow for breakfast in the morning. Got some yellow corn tortillas. This is for the enchilada casserole that's coming in a few nights. We're looking forward to that because I love my enchilada casserole. It tastes so good. Got some more of the family tea bags iced brew. And then this week, we also got sangria, but we got a different brand. We got the Sutter Home. We'll probably be trying a couple more in the future as well and see what our favorite is. So I'm excited to try that tonight or tomorrow night. And then we got some refried beans for nachos. And then I got my cocktail pepperoni sticks for a snack. I've heard a lot of good things about these Juanita's tortilla chips. So I'm excited to try these with the nachos. Super excited. Many people have told me that they taste great. So we'll be letting you know about that. Got another gallon of drinking water. Then we got a new splatter screen. The one that we have now is getting rusty and the screen here has holes in it. So we're gonna throw that out, clean this up and we'll have a new one. Got a green bell pepper. This is also going to be for the enchilada casserole. Walmart grocery pickup order. Ground turkey, that is for the enchilada casserole. Got a couple of rusted potatoes with the brisket. I'm gonna make potato salad on the side. Then for myself, I got cafe mocha this week and the hazelnut. So I have a couple of options for coffee in the morning. And sometimes I have coffee mid-afternoon when I'm home as well. Lime juice for Steve's ranch water. And then we got a can of corn and a can of baked beans. This is gonna go with chicken skewers that I'm gonna be cooking up in the upcoming week. Um, that'll be for a side. Uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. I put this on Ritz crackers and I also put it in my black olives and also bagels, yummo. Needed some more Tillamook medium cheddar cheese. Needed some more refillable foaming antibacterial hand soap. Cut green beans for Bella. This is for the brisket, beef broth. And then on top, I sprinkle in some slow cooker pasta roast seasoning. Enchilada sauce, that's for the enchilada casserole. And then to go on the side, we got some rice aroni Spanish rice. Steve needed some more shaving cream. 
He also got himself his toothpaste that he likes. And then for the printer, we need more black ink. As I was putting all the groceries away in the refrigerator, oopsie, I passed by the ballpark bun size beef hot dogs. This was also in the grocery haul. I just skipped over it. But this is for hot dog casserole. Well, I told you all this was a small grocery haul for sure, but we got everything we need until next weekend. Um, we are now leaving to go give my car an oil change. And then we are gonna head to Central Market. We have that $10 off coupon if you spend $20 or more. So we're gonna get a few things there. And then we're probably gonna grab some lunch somewhere and come back home. We are back home. It's almost 1.30. We had a lot to get done this Saturday morning slash afternoon. Glad that we're done. Back home, we can relax. Yay. So instead of eating some lunch out, we went ahead and got a Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, black olives, and Italian sausage. So we'll have half of this for lunch, the other half for dinner. Yay, I don't have to cook. Then we went into Central Market. We have the coupon, $10 off if you spend $20 or more. So our total came to 13 bucks. We got some more of our ground coffee, the Texas Hill Country Pecan. That's freshly ground in the store. So we restocked on that. We got 1.25 pound. So that should last us a few weeks. And then we got a treat here. Justin's peanut butter cups, mini ones. And some mushrooms to go with an upcoming dinner. Uh, yeah, the chicken skewers. So we were gonna also do shrimp and mushrooms on the other skewers. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven so we can have some lunch. Yay, time to put the pizza in the oven. We are starving for this lunch. It's gonna be so good. Let's see in 20 minutes. Beautiful sunny Saturday for us. It's gonna continue sunshine until I think Wednesday or Thursday we might have some rain chances. We're enjoying our new hot tub base. Hasn't been giving us any problems. We've been in here a few times the past week in the evening relaxing. We made some margaritas. Mm, yeah. We got them covered up because the flies are out. But we just made some regular flavored margaritas. Hi, Bella. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out here and relax. Enjoy this nice weather. Good morning, you all. Sunday. Hope that you all are having a blessed day or had a blessed day because you won't see this until tomorrow. But me and Bella are getting ready for the day. Well, she's already ready. She's fed and did her business and whatnot, but she likes to come in the bedroom here when I jump in the shower and get ready for the day. She's the mama doggy. She loves her mama, don't ya? <laughs> I'm on my third cup of coffee. Yes, third cup of coffee. We make a big pot on the weekends, like 10 cups. It's so nice, because during the week, we only have time to really drink one cup of coffee, and then we have to go to work. Well, anyways, last night, ugh, terrible. So my allergies, oh my gosh, just something outside triggered some badness. And so we were hanging out out there and then I was getting like all like messed up and sneezing and eyes are teary and you know, I take my allergy medicine every day, but that only does so much. Um, and it was a little bit breezy and the breeze felt good because it was kind of warm out. Um, so I had to come inside and then I started to get sleepy. So I took a nap and then I woke up and you had the leftover pizza for dinner. And then I crashed at like nine o'clock. Steve stayed up till midnight. He was watching football 
TCU, and I think there was something else on as well that he watched. Uh, I think it was the Mariners versus the Rangers. I think he was watching that as well. Anyways, he recorded them, so he was just like fast forwarding through and seeing what was going on. So now this morning, I'm feeling better. I'm hoping that I don't have any bad allergies going on. I have a little bit of teary eyes, but I use these um, pad a day eye drops. They are recommended from my eye doctor. I was using the allergy simulation ones and these work great. So I'm pop some of these in my eyes after I take a shower. And Steve is, I just saw him walk by the window here. I think he's gonna start with the back and mow the lawn, front and back. He doesn't need to weed eat or trim or anything like that. Just uh, mow the lawn so it should only take him like 10, 15 minutes and then he'll be done get ready for the day um we've had breakfast just our normal potatoes in the oven they were delicious eggs and bacon sausage that's our typical sunday morning breakfast so yeah i'm gonna jump in the shower here and get ready it is 11 o'clock and i am getting dinner put into the crock pot it's gonna cook on low for six to eight hours um, we are having brisket for dinner tonight so here it is in the crock pot and I use ketchup about a half a cup a cup of the beef broth and then all of these seasonings including the whole package of the pot roast seasoning so I'm going to go ahead and cover this up and let it start cooking on right now I have it on high for about 30 minutes and then I'll turn it down to low for the rest of the day if you are not using these slow cooker liners for your crock pot you need to get them and use them they're perfectly safe I've been using them for years and it's just convenient because you don't have the guck and mess in your crock pot to clean up you just take the bag and throw it away and you have a clean crock pot you still gotta clean it but it's not as messy What do you want, Bella? What do you want? Are you pawing at me? You better not be scratching me. How's it going? Relaxing over there? It's going good. Yeah, we got home from eating lunch, watching TV. I took an hour nap. That felt good. We're on our second margarita steve made strawberry earlier than i took my nap and now we just made a regular i just been relaxing on this lazy sunday afternoon and this girl here had dinner and now you want a treat that's what you're begging for treaty time gotta get the treats you have an internal clock and you know it's time now for a treat so Let's see, let's do a beef stick. Sit. There you go. And the brisket has about another 30 minutes or so. And we will have dinner here soon. Let's take a quick peek and see how it's doing in there. Yeah, let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that. Yummo. We'll take a better peek later when I open it up for dinner. And the camera just fogged up. Bella smells dinner. You want some brisket bites, don't you, boo-boos? Yeah. Let's 
Let's check it out. Time for dinner. Oh wow, look at that brisket. Yum oh. Turned out really good, hun. Oh the camera fogged up again. <laughs> Smells good. There we go. Yeah. So what I'm gonna go and do is put the brisket on this cooking sheet here. I have the oven on a broil. It's gonna broil for about five to 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna take all the juices from the crock pot here and I'm gonna reduce it in this saucepan. And then I'm gonna pour it over it and it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Bella, you ready for some bites? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you take the camera and you can vlog me do this. Yeah, see how well I can take it out without busting it up. Hey, look at that. All right, Let's broil this for a little bit. Yeah, stick it on in the oven. Yeah. And I'll, I'll check it in about five minutes and see how it's doing. Steve had a brilliant idea here how to get it into the saucepan. Yeah, well. Instead of pouring yes. it and causing a big mess. We don't need all of it, but Not a lot. maybe two more scoops. Yeah. He's so smart, honey. I love you. <laughs> love you too. All right. Good? That should be enough. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, so this is the best thing about these crock pot liners is once you're done, you just take out the liner and there you go. I mean, it's still needs to be rinsed out, but it's pretty clean. And then you just pour this down the drain. Yeah, and then you just put the bag in the trash. Voila, easy cleanup. <laughs> so I just got to keep an eye on this for the next 10 minutes and just stir it every now and then until it reduces and then take the brisket out of the oven and pour it on top and ready to eat. Brisket is ready. We're going to slice into it. See how it looks. Oh wow. Look at that color. Nice. Very nice. Oh yeah. Just falling apart. Wow, that's what you want it to fall apart and not be tough. All right, let me take the camera here. <laughs> Steve always wants the first bite. <laughs> You're my taste tester. Uh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the taste <laughs> tester, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. It's really good. Good flavor. Mm, very good flavor. Cut me a little bite there. I take a little. Hi Bella. Do you want a bite? Alright. Let's see if we can get this. All right. Wow. That's the best I've ever made it. It's very good. Mmm. Bella, want a bite? Well approved? Thumbs up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody approves. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, we just got to get the sides ready, and we're going to enjoy our brisket dinner. All right, you guys, it's the end of the weekend, and no better way than getting into the hot tub before you start another work week. I made some drinks over here. I have some wine, and I think Steve made ranch water, but we never did get around to trying the sangria or making some nachos, so... If we do that in the upcoming week, I will just put it in next weekend's video for you all. Hope you have a great week, and we will see you next weekend in the next video. Bye.